Today we're going to assemble the 3D printed transform gizmo. When this item arrives, you'll have three of the right angle parts, three arrow tips, three axis poles, six white clips, and the center ball. We'll start by taking three clips and putting them into the three holes on the center ball. It can be helpful to roll the clips in a little bit like that. Let's start with the x-axis pole. You'll notice that there are some rectangular holes towards one side. This side with the rectangular holes goes towards the center ball. On the bottom of the center ball, there is a small x. That shows you the clip that the x-axis pole goes onto. Make sure you align these holes with these two clips, since that is what the right angle part will clip into later on. And then just roll the pole on like we did when installing the clips into the center ball. Now we'll pick our up axis. I'll use blue. If you want to use green, you can. They are interchangeable. We'll take our up Z axis and clip it on, making sure to keep those two holes aligned with the other two axis directions. Now we'll just install the remaining Y axis, just like we did with the other two axis. If you've made it this far, it is important to make sure that each of these holes face each other since that's where the right angles clip in. I'll grab my Y corner axis and this will clip into the X and Z axis poles. These clip in just like the rest of the parts and it can help to roll them in a little bit. You may find that these clips are a little bit stiffer than the white clips that we already installed. The Z axis will connect to the X and Y. Y poles and the X axis will connect to the Y and Z poles. Now take our arrow tips and the remaining three clips and install the clips into each of the arrowheads. Every gizmo is test fit before I ship it so these clips may already be installed in some of these parts when it arrives. Now we'll just take each of the colored arrows and connect them to their respective axis. And you have fully assembled your 3D transform gizmo. If you have any issues, questions, or comments, or something happened, please reach out to me over Etsy or email, and I'll work with you to get any problem that you may have resolved. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy it.